bring the mic closer. Check in, check in, check in, check in. One, two, one, two. Let's, uh, there we go. Is that better? That's better. I don't know. For some reason, the mic's got a bit funny today. Yeah, I mean, it's all there. If you can hear me okay, let me know. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Way too high. There we go. Too much now. Too much. There we go. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Get a store assistant. Please go to aisle five. That's the store assistant. Please go to aisle five. There's been a spill of baby milk from the baby's mouth. Thank you. Uh, how you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome to the Hobby Corner. It's Wednesday, the Warhammer Wednesday. I hope you're all good. Um, let me know how your week's been so far. It's good, bad, whatever. Let me know in the chat. Um, let's get the chat going. And uh, in the meantime, let's do our early bird roll call and start right at the top. We've got Go For It Painting. How you doing? Uh, we also got Wayland. Excuse me, just had a burp. Waylanders wondering, how you doing, man? Uh, no worries, mate. You know what? I'm just glad you're here anyway. It's um, it's good that you're here, man. Um, boy, Captain Bazooka, how you doing? Uh, Big Mac Dance Go, how's it going? Hope you're well. Uh, Underhive Hero, how you doing? Hope you're well. So part of your video this week, Dan. Is combat patrol worth a punt? I think it is. If you if you want um a collection of smaller forces and like a nice little taster, then it's worth it. And then go for the premium because you know they, there's some tasty stuff in the premium too. Um <clears throat> the next one is all cheaper than from third parties. Yeah. Yeah. So um and you know, like you can always you can always um just sell on the ones that you don't want. Uh you're still gonna get at least your money back for it. So yeah. And unlike with previous collections, so Conquest, Mortal Realms, Imperium and um Stormbringer <clears throat> They've all been more focused around miniatures or rangers that were about to get a refresh or they were coming to the end of that cycle of um, that edition for 40k or for Age of Sigma. So with this one, you'll actually notice that a lot of the factions are relatively up to date in terms of the miniature line that they got. So... That's something different. Um, and, you, you know, they're not just going to be replaced, like, in no time. Like, for example, the Flesh Eater Courts. Um, they got a whole rebranding, right? Um, so, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where you got to sort of look at the behavior of uh, the marketing between Hashet and, um, and Games Workshop, how they've business model's been going and you also got to remember they've been doing this for four magazine runs now so they know what they're doing they know what they want to do and they've been tweaking it each time they tweaked it a bit um but i think imperium was their more popular one for 40k because it had some variety in it it wasn't just this or that and they've they've gone ahead with that and and i think um the stormbringer magazine sort of helped um solidify that decision as well um so yeah you know it's good <clears throat> wish they'd do a kill team one i mean you can you can make kill teams out of those combat patrols can you uh you just need the rules for it but um i i think you wouldn't get as much bang for your buck for that anyway, to be honest. Um, 
I was hoping they'd do that this time, to be honest, but Combat Patrol isn't far off. Most of the factions can build kill teams from the CP bots. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I was saying. So, um, yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you just use use what they give you and tweak it as you need to. Um, if I remember rightly, though, the let's I have a quick I have a quick nosy, shall I? Let's have a quick look. What was it? Uh, Combat Patrol magazine. There we go. Posh. Oh my days, what's going on with the website there? Let's go back and click on the other link. There we go. It's just got the sign up and email. Oh, come on. Ah. Yeah, they don't, they don't, the website is, gosh darn it, the website was there. All right, let's 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 go to Fohammer then, because he's definitely got all the uh, the info on it. Because um, he gets it straight from the horse's mouth. So, yeah, what was it? You get, oh man, you get a lot of stuff in it. And, um, you get a fair amount of of the bigger miniatures, like um, hello. We'll have a look here. Bosh, bosh, and we'll have a look. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, come on! All right, look. I'll just slide into here because it's easier. There we go. Okay, so that just makes things a lot easier for me. Let me just resize it. There we go. So, um, as you can see, you, look, you get, um, you know, the big KLC. Okay, did not click on that. Where's the A? Where's the X? By the way, we have a link to Forbidden Planet as well. So look, you get this big gribbly, you get that big gribbly, you get um, this big killer can thing, um, that cool vehicle over there, you get Gene Steeler Colt's tanky tank thing there as well, you get the walker from the, um, the Imperial Guard. Uh, but look, you get Space Marines, Tyranids, so these are going to be new miniatures. Um, you've got Evil Brebins. Thank you so much for the sub, mate. I really do appreciate it, dude. Uh, I hope you're well. Hope you're well, Phil. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow the deadline for KFC. Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, a minute to midnight tomorrow. It's weird they don't have terrain in this collection, though. I think, um, they've, they've seen that terrain has been less popular. Uh, plus, I think they know that th you know, this being the third 40k magazine run, easy to say 75% of those people are going to already have terrain from the previous magazines. Um, uh, uh, what was it? Legions? No, Leagues of, of Votan. So, new stuff. Uh, the Aldari, there's a mixed bag there. Astra Militarum, brand new. Gene Steeler Colts, only a few years old. Uh, orcs, <laughs> mixed bag. It depends on the Orcs, actually, to be honest. Um, Chaos Space Marines, okay, relatively new. And World Eaters, only a year old. So instead of stuff being near the end of its run, this is all, this is all, I mean, in Games Workshop's timeline, this is all brand new stuff. So, um, you know, except the Orcs and the Aldari. That's, like I said, that's going to be a mix. Um, there's, there's your points-wise as well. Hovering roughly around the same mark, though. I mean, Ast Astra Militarum was always going to suffer there because you need a lot of uh, numbers for that. 
Um, World Eaters and Gene Stealer Cults got the bigger points there. So um, that's, uh, do, 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 do. that's what they think they're going to have. This might change as well because it sometimes does change. Um, never got the company champion, to be honest. Um, and here's the premium stuff, right? Now, this is what I like. It's all relating to the factions. Um, to be honest, I think they decided against Terrain and Mags as cheap out for kitten kits. Yeah, uh, people don't buy full price kits. Though. Maybe. Um, but here, look. Hive Tyrant and a Brutalis Dreadnought. Brand new miniature there. Uh, Demon Prince, brand new mini. Howling Banshees, quite a brand new refresh on those. You've got the uh, Brockier Thunderkin over here for the Leagues of Botan. Again, new. Killer Gans, not a new, but you know, what else? <laughs> you got the Brood Coven as well. Um, that's a mix. I mean, it's not. That Brood Lord isn't that old, to be honest. And then, of course, the Rogal Dawn Battle Tank. Uh, with his little Flintstone hatch at the bottom. So, yeah. I mean, for two ban extra, they've, they, they really made that tempting, you know what I mean? <laughs> From a commission painter's stance, that's a, that is a very tempting thing. And then, of course, this is the issue five uh, limited miniature. So you could swap it in with, you know, if you've got a duplicate of, of, these, of this squad. And you could just swap it through. Um, which I think is cool. It's got a little flaming nid bit. Um, so yeah, that's that's what you really need to know. The first issues, the first um four issues are crazy because in issue one you get the Terminator Captain and uh oh, what was this called? The Wing Tyranny Prime. Cool. Issue two, you get the unit of uh, flamey dudes and then issue three you get these sneaky dudes so you know ain't half bad right there you go, look. oh no that's issue two there you go I mean issue three is of course the uh, infernus marines issue four is some paints so you can actually, you don't start painting until issue four um, so that's different and then of course issue five is going to be the limited thing so you know not bad i I'd, I'd say it's it's worth it if you if you want to get a taste of things if you want to do commission painting um if you want to just have some variety so that when you've got friends coming over they can play a bit of this or if you just want a chance to try something new that's the best way to do it um it is with the premium it's going to be what let's say the nine ninety nine each, so it's eleven ninety nine, so twelve pounds we'll say. Four issues every four weeks. Um, so you're looking at forty eight quid every four weeks. I can't say a month because it is every four weeks they deliver it, and then um, so so it never quite lines up with the months. So you'll get thirteen deliveries in a year. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, but you know what, if, if you spend about 50 quid on your hobby a month, or if you spend 50 quid on, um, you know, like gaming every month, like buy a new game or whatever, and you think you get four issues on there that's got scenarios, paint guides, build guides, every issue, um, it's going to be stuff you need. There's tons of variety in the miniatures. You know, and it opens up your ability to have people around to play who don't quite have their own things, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, can't go wrong, right? Uh, 80 times a tenner, yeah. 800 quid. Oof. Um, holy moly. Is that just big? Oh, okay. I thought there was huge lag on on YouTube. It wasn't. It was just. 
<laughs> For some reason, it stopped somewhere weird. Anyways, um, so yeah. Eighty times two is one hundred and sixty. One hundred and sixty onto eight hundred is nine sixty. So you're looking at nine hundred and sixty quid for that run, and that's if they don't expand it. You know, it's, uh, don't ever spend fifty quid a month on a hobby. What not? The king. <laughs> I'm sure he spends more on his hobbies. Um, so that's. Oh, 52 issues a year. So it's going to be a year and a half. You're going to spend that much on it. A year and a half. You're going to be, lo well, actually, it's more than a year and a half, to be honest. A year and two thirds. You're going to be locked in on it. They might stretch out to a full two years. It's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but if you are going to spend it anyway, on 40k and you want the variety or if you're doing commission paint and stuff like that it's it's an easy win for you but if you don't spend that much you you don't hobby that often you know you're quite limited for time and stuff then it's not it's not going to be for you because what's going to happen and this happens to a lot of people is you'll get hooked in You'll think, oh, just go a little longer because of the free gifts. Premium drops, and you're like, oh, this is real good. You still got another free gift to go, so you're like, oh, I might as well go a bit longer. And before you know it, you're near the end of the thing. You're struggling to keep up paying for it, and you got a whole lot of unpainted sprues just sitting in a big pile of magazines. Um, and then you'll start feeling shitty about it. So you really do have to think, am I actually going to, one, enjoy this magazine series, two, do the actual hobby, and three, have a time frame in which I can do it. Also, uh, just a, a reminder that we are already, oh, let's see, what when did Leviathan drop? Last year, uh, mid year, isn't it? So by the time this this magazine comes out, it's going to be summer because it's always a summer launch. Um, if they do a trial in February, it's definitely a summer launch. So by the time it finishes, there will be another edition of 40K. So you'll be learning how to play 10th edition 40k all the way along and then by the end of it you'll have 11th edition so keep that in mind as well um and it's the same with stormbringer right that they've already um shown a leak well not a leak but uh, a preview for the preview um of the next edition of age of sigma so and stormbringer hasn't concluded yet so um it's it's the same it's the same with every every magazine series really. It gets you tied up and then it sets you up so that you're more familiar with it going into the new edition than not. So yeah, it's a pain learning all those rules. Um and everything goes out the window. Nah, that's unfair to say. Most editions they change just little bits here and there, to be honest. So um you get the basics down essentially, right? And then after that, it's like, yeah. Um, so what's everyone saying in the chat? Uh, that's worth fifty quid in there. Oh yeah. Um, not everyone got Imperium. I just think it's a shame for newer players not to get terrain in something like this. People like me have a ton already. But some folks could have done with some. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where they got to look at um, the, you know, which issues sold more than others, right? Because you also got to remember there's a, a large 
um, there there is a, a a large percentage of those who bought the magazines who weren't subscribed to the monthly download they da- download delivery they bought issues as and when and of course the terrain ones and the paint ones were the least popular ones but yeah it's one of those things um got a bounce no worries dude uh thank you for being it i appreciate it you have a good one mate um Not even a grant, not even a crit, it's months apart before I buy anything. <laughs> yeah, but we know we know what your hobby your hobby is like. Uh to be fair, Void, you've been carefully and masterfully crafting one squad for years. That's true. Save it to buy your food or pay bills. Yeah, exactly. It like a hobby is a hobby, right? It is something you don't have to keep up with. It's not something you 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 have to buy hugely into it scales as much as you have the time and the money to afford to because you got to invest just you got to invest time into it as well as money and and a lot of people again they get caught up with instagram and facebook and all these um people showing off these fantastic finished pieces or these huge army collections and it's inspiring it really is but it can also put unwanted pressure on people to think i'm falling behind i need to do more when really you need to take a step back and just remember it's a hobby okay it's supposed to be something you enjoy at your own pace it's supposed to be something that uh, you enjoy in your own time and no one's putting any pressure on you to finish painting stuff or or finish a collection. You can finish it whenever you want. That's the whole point of it. I mean, when was the last time you saw a train collector, like a, a Holby train collector, go out, buy like half a dozen train sets, all of the terrain pieces, all of the houses, the little people, the roads, um, and then built the entire thing like within a couple of weeks or a month or whatever. They don't. It, it takes years of adding little bit and little bit of crafting the terrain, uh, of making the tunnels, the flat planes, doing the... Um, you know, the railway, the wiring for it, um, the little houses and the people and the, the foliage and everything. It it takes years. And you should approach this hobby like that. It's something that you've invested in time in for you to enjoy at your leisure. So, you know, you can't feel like it is a, I have to do this. I have to get this painted. I have to do because everyone else has already done it. Heck, I have stuff from the starter set of three editions ago on both 40K and Age of Sigma that's not finished because I'm just picking and choosing what I want to do when I want to do it, you know? I actually stopped getting the the starter set because it, I felt that unnecessary pressure of, oh, it's three years already gone, like that. It's a new edition. I'll get it started. But because I'm invested in many different um, game systems, I'm locked into this constant cycle of once I've started to get some sort of progress in one of those starter sets, the new edition for the other game system is launched. And now my attention's on that. And then I get a bit of progress there. And then, oh, the other one's launched. And I'm back and forth, half finishing stuff. It doesn't need to be like that at all. Um, I think main 40k could do one for me. I'll stay with Kill Team for now and Horus Heresy now and then. Yeah, I mean, Kill Team is great. It's It's small, manageable games. But there's plenty of tactical flavor so you know it's it's great the small model count and small board area that you need fantastic win-win um 
was it? Dude, Hornby just announced a new Flying Scotsman, 550 quid, locomotive only. That's also another reason why it takes people so long to do that one. Because it's so fucking expensive. And people want to complain about Warhammer, how expensive that is. I can tell you, right, the competitors, the main competitors for, for Games Workshop, are not that much cheaper to be honest and the quality in some cases is there and in other cases is not and then you also got to think of other hobbies which are quite expensive like airsoft those guns are not cheap the equipment is not cheap and you go down a rabbit hole of getting rifles and pistols and stuff and grenade launchers and stuff it's crazy um fishing is i think is the cheapest hobby you can get really because once you've got a rod that's it you're sorted the only thing that's really gonna cost you is, is um traveling to and from where you are and maybe some of the gear like maybe the different floats and stuff like that you want um or the different flies but it, it just you know if you got a rod, you got a rod. That's it. You're done, sort of thing. Um, but a lot of motorsports, very expensive. Um, anything RC related, like aircraft or on wheels, expensive. Um, what other hobbies are out there that aren't cheap? I mean, any kind of collecting. You know, there's there's going to be a are very much, um, you know, everything's priced due to demand sort of thing. So, yeah, I, hobbies hobbies are hobbies, you know. They're there if you've got the time and the money. They're not mandatory. And they are there if you enjoy them, you know. But, yeah, there you go. Um, procrastination is key. Oh, man, I know all about that. Uh, I watched a bloke called Charlie... Oh, the fella, his layout has been in the build stage for three years now. Still nowhere near finished. Yeah, I think the quickest, um, the quickest train board build I've seen was actually for a, uh, a hobby shop in the town center, in the Eden center. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. But they got like a, a massive Dalek in the door and they have this nice, nice railway board. Many different um, tracks. You know, there's even a monorail on there. You've got tunnels and everything. Sometimes they put Thomas the steam tank on there and other times, you know, every, every time I go past, they put a different engine on. Um, and then they got like loads of little characters dotted around, like little... So all in scale with the rest rest of them, but like loads of Disney characters just dotted around the entire place. They got Ferris wheel um, and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, and they, they got that built in a matter of, you know, a couple of weeks while they were setting up the shop. But, you know, that that's, that's purely because they, they're setting up a shop, they got all the gear they need sort of thing. Um, but it was still impressive nonetheless. What I've been doing is looking at what I've got and doing what I want with it, sorting them into future projects that I can make out of them and starting with what's caught my imagination now, focusing on that first and only buying things for that project. A lack of money has played into that, but also coming to my senses and not worrying about buying into the hype and the fear of missing out. I play it at my own pace, in my own spare time, which also limits my speed with the project. I enjoy what I do in my own terms. Perfect. Perfect. Couldn't say it better, mate. Karen Commissar, how you doing? Coming in with a ha. <laughs> Hope you're well. How you doing? Long time no see. Uh, in case you didn't know, we are live right now on both Twitch and YouTube. So, ooh, fancy, I know. Um, so don't forget, if you are on YouTube and you're not subscribed already, 
hit that subscribe button. It don't cost you anything to do so. Even hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if you're on Twitch, hit the follow button. It doesn't cost you anything either. Um, and I, pre- I appreciate it. Um, I'm getting a new place. You're back from America. America! <laughs> um, what, did you go on a trip or were you there for, for an extended stay? Either way, how you doing? Uh, Brown Bear, how's it going? Hope you're well. I see you're using YouTube to watch me. Naughty. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there we go. That's all our chit chat. Uh, if you missed it, you can always watch back. Um, we were just having a quick recap of uh, the upcoming Combat Patrol um, magazine and the, the pros and cons for such a collection, um, especially a, a part works magazine. Um, but yeah, out of all of the magazines so far, it seems to be the better one purely based on which ranges it's providing you. Um, the, what was it? The, how new those, those kits are, um, which is pretty much 90% of them are new kits. Um, and the variety of, of the collection, which is good. So, you know, but it's one of those things where you need to think, do I have 50 quid a month? And am I going to get that done every month or am I going to rush myself, burn out and then end up with a lot of stuff undone, you know, um, it was with the army. So I had to play shooting in the desert. Ah, oh, dude, that sounds fun. Um, we thank you for your service. Andre. Oh, I'll give you a British salute. There you go. Um, that's the British Army, by the way. I should I should say, um, and the the RAF do the same, but you know, Navy it's because dirty fingers, dirty stop outs, right? Those those floating fairies. Ugh. <laughs> so what am I hobbying at the moment? Oh, you're gonna like it. I started it um last night and then. No, lot last night, Monday night, just before I finished. It really wasn't fun. Too much sand in your crutch, I bet. Um, so I'll pop that there like that. Let's move the camera around. Do 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 do. Stupid do do. Stupid do do. Hope you can still hear me okay. There we go. And let's pop the light on. Oh, whoops. Uh, I hate sand. It gets everywhere. It's called Sinichi. That's true. See lots of piles of these for sale in the future. Really looking forward to pick up a few copies at the start. Probably stop there. Be nice to pick and choose which issues you wanted, but I mean you can still do that. They're still going to be available on Forbidden Planet. And of course, we do have a link to Forbidden Planet. So if you want to help support the channel that way, um, and they usually do a small discount on it. And of course, if you bulk order your um, uh, your issues, like even the ones that go on pre-order, once you hit a certain amount, or I think it's like five pound or five pound fifty on, on the postage, they stop charging you for postage, even though the stuff will get sent out later. So you you won't have to pay for more postage in that one order sort of thing. So, yeah. I'm sure you can get hold of Jack Sparrow one. 
There we go. So, yeah, I was building the Terminators you gave me, Underhive. And this was the one I finished just after I finished the live stream. But I had a conundrum, right? So, these shoulder pads for the Terminators did not match up to the ones that I had already printed for the Silver Templars. And I realized that's because these were made before the Primaris Terminators were available. So the height was almost right. It was sort of like maybe a third of a centimeter off. It's maybe like three mil, 30 mil off, right? That's not right. Yeah, it was three mil off. Okay. Um, but also, the thickness was sort of almost there, but it's the width. The width of them is was not there. It was a lot thinner than I needed it. That was about half a centimeter out. Okay, so about five mil out. So, I went into Chitty Box. I uh, I did three different size variations to get it to the right sort of thing, and uh, this is this is cured as well. There was a little bit of sunlight outside, so this will, should fit perfectly like that, and it doesn't look out of sorts. There you go. You can see the uh, silver Templar insignia there. And I've saved the file so I know exactly what size this is. So um, if you know if anyone wants themselves uh, some custom shoulder plates, uh, especially terminate ones, just DM me, and um, we'll sort something out for a very 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 reasonable price, of course. Um, and yeah, so cool. <laughs> so the whole squad can have Silver Templar custom uh, shoulder pads, which is great. Oh, I love that sound though. It's just so satisfying. Look, listen to this. Oh, it's nice. There we go. Uh, the mystic of the room. I know of a website that knows how to parlay. Do you know? Um, looking good though. So hard transfers or rescale. Um, yeah, essentially. Um, you can have one or the other, but this one, like, because I already had the file with the thing on it, I thought I'll just rescale it. Um, it's just so much easier. Uh, so I, you know, I got I got my ruler out right there. I measured the di diameter, the height, the width of it. Got as close to it as possible. Rejigged it, made sure I printed it in the right way because, of course, you get you are going to get layer lines, but you want to print it in a way that it doesn't show so much so easily. And I think I've managed to achieve that because this is almost smooth as anything. And wait, oh, yeah, it is, it is on the look at that, look how smooth that is. Ooh. All right, it's dope, isn't it? Totally by accident, on purpose. <laughs> Accidentally on purpose. So it was a unique positioning that allowed it to get that right sort of texture on there, because this one 
This was the old one. And um, whoop, let's see. You can see it's even got like the mini tiny little dip just there. You see that? So like where an air bubble got in on that lowest level. Um, and then like you can see the layers going in that weird angle. So it's like slicing it like that. So yeah, bosh, nailed it. Um, Sort something for sure. I might even collect them outside of Hamworld. Ooh, I've answered the question. Yes. So um, anyway, what I'm gonna do though, it still needs to be smoothed down. Just just where the supports were. Uh. It's so soft. To work with this this resin. There we go. Right. And then where's the there we go. Nice and smooth. Okay, so it doesn't have like all the detail like that on it, but the basic shape is there. Of course, this arch sort of goes a bit higher up. This bit down here is a bit thicker, but essentially it is, you know, the right size. So it doesn't matter about that. So. Or at least there's a little bit of uh, glue and we're done. Oh, hang on. I'll be right back. Uh, what I'll do is, if you give me a moment, I'll pop this on and I'll be right back in a sec. Uh, load it, load it, load it. There we go. Um, I assume uh, as I can't find my hobby clipper, please send me yours. I'm using my clipper. Shocking. I will always keep my clippers because I will always be using them. And that's that. Thank you for joining us in the chat. Anyway, I'll be right back.
Hi, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. There we go. Um, sorry, the wife needed a hand moving something. So, uh, yeah, done. Now, um, where was I in the conversation? I can't remember. Hi, Jace, by the way. Hope you're well. Oh, that nearly... <laughs> <laughs> this nearly rolled off the edge. Whew. Okay. So, um, I'm just sanding down these uh, 3D printed uh, Silver Templar shoulder pads. And of course, if there is a chapter that you want to get printed out, and you don't have the means to do so. Um, you can contact me. And uh, you can sort something out. I'll make sure it's the right size and style as well. Bill's killed 2200. Blooming now. Lerman now. Mod's privileged that, isn't it? Because the game is still on in the background, so even though you're not seeing it, everyone's still playing it, because uh, I didn't press stop. <laughs> like I should have, to make it fair. Lovely. Right. Let's put that back up. Here we go. Ah, bollocks. Thanks, Bill. Ah, uh, what have you, uh, So I'm playing poor. Ah, oh, I can't do that. I already said. You said. I already said I can't do that. I can't. First of all, barely speak any French as it is. But you want me to then basically rap French. You're insane. You are insane. All right. So this this is where um, this is where I'll get flagged on YouTube. But oh, Christ. Right, just just so we know, right, the first line of this is Wham ban, mon chat splat, get some mon lita buffet, sa langui, langui or lang, lounge, oh, sa lounge, un bouvant, dans mon whiskey. Conta moi pour dormir, fide brume, jadou, jadou mou, jadou de mou, dans la gouttière, au jet, pour un flash. 
<laughs> Où est vos flash? J'ai eu un flash. Yeah, see, I sound like a right bloody uh clown. <laughs> Let's see. The way I speak French, but there you go. It's a dying language. Only the French, some Canadians, and um some randoms in Asia and small parts of Asia and uh, Africa speak it. No one else does. Sing the ooey hoo chorus. Yeah, it's just let's just skip to that bit. There you go. Sa plan pour moi. Easy. Or Ico Ico by the Bell Stars. What the hell? The bad touch. For real? I mean, it's up to you. Do you want to hear me do the, the chorus to Sa Plan Pour? Or do you want me to uh, do the bad touch? Dealer's choice. Uh, cut, remove, I think, because it's only fair, I'll do a song I'm more familiar with. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> ah, that brought back memories. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, love the kind you see me about you. <laughs> Clean up, whip them up and bucket. 
Yeah, it's good. It's a good one. Anyways, uh, should we get on with it? <laughs> should I get on with what I was doing? <laughs> you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. So let's do what they do on the Discovery mm -hmm. Channel. So, um, I was, you know what, I am tempted because um, I think this was discussed before. Um, and in all honesty, seeing um, Bunker do it reminded me. But um, doing something like what he's done. So, like, for example, for if you... Uh, saved up like 50,000 watch points then he will paint you a small miniature he does adopt a squig right so he'll paint you up and send it out to you I think that's a great little incentive to keep people watching um Of course, if I was going to do it, it wouldn't be a squig, you know, I don't know, I'm not sure what it would be, but it definitely wouldn't be a squig. Maybe, maybe I can see if there's um, any uh, printing files for for um, wheelie bins or Reliant Robins. <laughs> Would that be a laugh? There we go. Look at that. Oh, Captain, my captain. Yeah, you're doing a great job, yeah? No, I just want you to know that I appreciate you. I appreciate you so greatly. <laughs> Get down to sculpt your chibi Kev Marine. Oh, that would be amazing, actually, wouldn't it? Could be up for that. That is a fantastic suggestion. Ah. Oh, forget that. Let's put regular glue on there. Regular plastic glue. Look at that, eh? Eh? You wouldn't even know, would ya? You wouldn't even know. Right. I'll pause that playback. I'm gonna go into studio Bosh, I'll do that I think this is all lagging up a bit
Um, Howling Griffin scheme on Mini of the Choosing. Oh my god. Uh, you could think about doing it at say 15k watch points. So behind in times, it should be Chibi Kev Marine Kings. Kev Space King. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Rick's accents, were you doing rolled into one Kev? I know, it's kind of. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Christopher Watkins. <laughs> Christopher Watkins mixed with um, a little bit of... Uh, oh, what's his name? Who's that uh, director? He's really thin... Glasses, Billy Joel? No, it's not Billy Joel, is it? Um, I'm not blooming sure now. Never mind. Did he do a Kiki? <laughs> do Michael Caine? I can't. Hello, I'm Michael Caine. I come from the Elephant and Castle District. Because I'm a Londoner, you see. That's where we do it proper. I don't know. Is that anywhere near Michael Caine? I don't know. Barry from Ufia's in pet. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Burbly. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need gravity when you have family. Yeah. <laughs> ah, dear. Right, let's keep that. Oh no, little uh, shield fell off. Ah, balls. Vin Diesel, I am Groot. I am Groot. What are you talking about? I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Full grown Groot. Baby Groot. Which Groot would, would you be referring to? That's the question, isn't it? A tilt shield. Is its name. There we go. Okay. It is in place. Do Margaret Thatcher. You ain't got the balls to run this country. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but you don't have the balls to run this country like I do. Now scram. I'm off to privatise the public loos. <laughs> hey, that's spot on. Um, I wish I wish the rebranding to sci-fi actor struck stuck more than the street racing thing. Oh, I mean, you know, family. And then it was like, I could see you in the dark. And it was, 
And that's pretty much all he's really done. Um, I wouldn't do Margaret Thatcher anymore. You're anything. She's fucking rancid and dead. <laughs> that's, that's what really sounded like behind the cameras. <laughs> Neaten his up because I noticed there was a couple of bumps I had missed. There we go. Done. So there is that dude's head there. Don't need that one. Let's um I all I also um I've only neatened up a couple of these actually. I haven't I only neatened up one. I trimmed out the bits and piled them where they need to go. But I have... Uh, you know what? I should probably finish trimming out the bits. Bring that over here. Let's just finish with that first and then we can worry about sticking them together. Bosh, bosh. Oh, the mic is way close, by the way. Um, any other... Uh, any other imitations you want me to try? I don't know. Oh, I see the uh, comments are flowing now. D6, how's it going? Alan Carr. No. <laughs> no, don't be silly. <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty bastard. Oh, something like that, isn't he? That silly laugh. Uh, Bruce Lee, not even going to try. As penance for terrible imitation, please watch video of the pacifier that every time Diesel speaks, it gets ten percent faster. <laughs> what? That <laughs> just be ridiculous. Is that a natural option? <laughs> yeah, it could actually make it um, enjoyable to watch then. Jimmy Carr. Oh yeah, Jimmy Carr's easy. It's uh <laughs> knock knock. Now you say who's there? And I say your mum. Wait for it. And you say your mum who? And I say your mum's on the end of my cock. <laughs> Mm. 
But you know what, I had a friend that laughed a bit like that as well, to be honest. So, there are people out there who laugh inwards instead of outwards. It's a real thing. Spot on brutally. Thank you. Sadly, that version does not exist yet. Ah. That's Seth Rogen. Please, no mix up. Seth Rogen? Really? It's not Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen's like, uh, <laughs> no, no, that's too crusty to clown. Um, I don't know. I, I don't smoke like weed all day long for for thirty years, so I, I don't I don't think I could ever do his laugh. Cause that's that's what it would take. <laughs> it's like a really rusty engine trying to start up. Mr. <laughs> um, Burns. Excellent Smithers. <laughs> Who's that dimwit in Sector 7J? He's an absolute buffoon. I must see into his mind. Oop, shit. Too much. Bosh, saved it. Uh, Kev sounds more like Joe Wilkinson. <laughs> Oh, all this name dropping is making my head hurt. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good with name drops. Uh, what I'm up to, I'm building Terminators, y'all, with these snazzy 3D printed Silver Templar shoulder pads. Ooh, that I printed freshly last night. Look how good they are. Uh... Uh, they needed a resize because these were for the uh, original uh, Terminator armor. So I needed to measure out the new um, shoulder size and then customize it a bit. Just just a little resize, that's all. Nothing too crazy. Um, and yeah, it's a perfect fit, so it's all good. Uh, it's faster. You're right, Rogan. As the two times YouTube speed version. So, what is everyone up to tonight? You all know what I'm up to tonight, but what are you lot up to tonight? Are you working on anything? Are you chilling out? Are you gaming? Are you watching some movies, TV shows? Uh, doing some hobby? Or are you watching me like, like I'm a TV show? Because that's just weird. Can't get rid of that. That slowed down everything so much. All right, there we go. Everything's running smooth now. Um, do Chris Eubank talking to Mike Tyson about their favorite cakes? Oh my fucking days! <laughs> do my KFC now? No. Uh, just watching Twitch. Nice. Uh, watching some nerd on Twitch, eh? Jeez. Um. 
The dog's making a bunch of noise. And the wife. It's so funny because because he is um, predominantly um, a French bulldog. They're sort of known for for being a bit talky. So like you you actually you actually converse with you. Why are you all over the I knew they would. I don't know, it was just um to see how long it would take. Yeah, I did that one already. Next. I had a massive pile of, of uh, nicely stacked, clean, dry laundry on the side of the sofa. It was huge. I wanted to see how long it would take before the kids knocked it over. They did all right, actually. I'm still wondering why they're still awake. It's nearly 10 a freaking clock. How mad is that? Right. So smooth that like that. Let's put a little dent right in the middle. There we go. Uh some beanie hat head guy doing Great deal of jackal. Yeah, that's what you tune in for, isn't it? They're waiting for the Xbox Game Pass release of Diablo 4. Wouldn't that be a thing? a little wonky but who cares uh done a bit of exercise martial arts practice trying to do it more often like i used to nice look how tidy your desk is i know i actually just like neatly there you go that i neatly step like put all the paints there still within arm's reach instead of behind me on the shelf so uh yeah, it's neater. How you doing, Bunker? Hope you're well. You still working on those squigs? Or that Space Wolf? Did you finish the Space Wolf? That's a good question, actually. So, hang on, right, I was, there was a request, what was it, Chris Eubank and Mike Tyson, so, Chris, Chris Eubank, he talks, he talks a lot like this, but he's quite posh, but he's got the, he's got the heavy lift, and then Mike Tyson, he's, he's more like this, isn't he, so he, he goes, <laughs> I really, I, I really like, I really like that Tottenham cake, you know, it's, it's that nice sponge with, with the pink icing on it. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> I could fuck someone up for that. <laughs> uh, no need for the profanity. Uh, but yes, I, I do enjoy a good Tottenham cake, but I also like a French fancy. It's quite like, I quite enjoy a French fancy, Ingrid. <laughs> Something like that, right? I just got myself on the hit list. That's cool, I can live with that. You ain't gonna get me like Greg Davies, because there's no way that uh, either of them are gonna walk in from the front door. 
There's no backstage here. Uh, I haven't got three squigs to paint still. All four got claimed. Damn. One is a B. Oof. Nice. Uh, went off on a tangent there, but nice try. <laughs> Had a question for the UK crowd? Shoot. Uh, it saved you painting all, those, all your minis with a curve, getting your head punched into oblivion. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, a, it'd be an excuse. Not one I would want to use, though. All right, combat patrols are being shaken up. However, there is a Warhammer Imperium subscription service that should have had focused on combat patrol content. Is that still a thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally called Combat Patrol. Um... It will, it will be out in the summer, sort of July August time. Um, that's usually the time that they launch these uh, magazines. They have done for the other uh, four. Yeah, the other four magazines. Um, so they've done the exact same thing. They did a trial run at the beginning of the year. And then it's like six month, five, six months until they do the actual official launch. Uh, a few details might change about it. A few models might change or swap around. The free gifts might change and, and you know, that sort of thing. But on the whole, it'll be, it'll be uh, ready to go. Uh, the old combat patrols or the new ones? Anyway, um, I mean they're all they're all new models, ex except the orcs. The orcs, uh, not so much. They're sort of still in that phase of of getting the occasional new kit, you know. So, like for example, the boys, orc boys, old model models, right? But then you've got Newer models like the new um, mech that's coming out. So, you know, it's quite a strange range. And the same with the Eldari. The Eldari is a mixed bag with space elves. They, you know, they have some bits that are newer and some bits that are older. But all the other factions are new. Like, a lot of them. They've just got a refresh in the last year. So, yeah. It's good. And I don't know if they are the same as the Combat Patrol boxes that are getting sold at the moment. I'm not sure. Um, probably not. But hey-ho. Hope that answers your question. But if I remember rightly, you get uh, regular Chaos Space Marines, you get the World Eaters, you get Gene Silla Colts, you get the new Space Marines and Tyranids. Um, Orcs, Astra Militarum, you know, Imperial Guard, as they're known as. Uh, Eldar, or Eldari, as they're now known as. Um, Leagues of Votan. Again, brand new kits, those off. Um, how many did I just list? Did I miss one out? There should be eight factions. So, Chaos, World Eaters, Space Marines, Tyranids. 
Guard, Gene Silicolts, Aldari, Orcs. Oh yeah, that is him. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, clever me. So that means every 10 issues, mixed with some paints, of course, you will get a combat patrol. So it just depends on how many uh, issues those models are going to be spread across and how many paint issues you're going to have. Orcs are we placed the boys kit in the combat box is the new sculpt. But individual boys boxes older sculpt. Ah yeah, that's true. Uh there are also some exclusive models, yes. Uh you got one. That's the issue five. Uh, exclusive and it is of a uh, infernus sergeant essentially but he's he's holding his infernus weapon to the side and he's got a foot up on a tactical flaming tyranny carcass because a tactical rock just wouldn't do <coughs> excuse me yeah, you only ever get one exclusive miniature um, with these magazines, and it's always the issue five one. Uh, the very first one was uh, Lieutenant Calcius in the uh, for first part works one. And then... In the Mortal Realms one, it was uh, Sandria Zhuhart. Uh, I can't remember. It was it was a, a knight in Cantor, the Stormcast, and then for the Imperium magazine, um, it was a captain, Space Marine captain. And then with the Stormbringer magazine, what was it for the Stormbringer magazine? I don't know because I didn't get the Stormbringer magazine. Does anyone know um, what the exclusive was? It uh, one of the the one of the orcs. I don't think I remember it being. Another Stormcast. I think they did run the uh, the Killer Boys, the Cruel Boys. That's what they're called. I have assembled twenty orc shooters yesterday. Bloody hell! How are they to build? I mean, if you manage to build twenty in a day, that's cool. I'd tell you, like these Terminators have come in so many parts. Building these five is taking me two evenings. But you know, I wanted to make sure that I got the bits right and all together. I did opt for um, the assault cannon rather than the, the rocket launcher backpack thing. I did not really like it. Wasn't it an exclusive Stormcast Mage? Was it? I'm going to have to have a look now. Stormbringer Magazine. Thor. You can't, mate. It's packed in the... Yeah, because got lots of stuff for selling, buddy. So, 
Sorry. He ain't gonna happen, mate. He ain't gonna happen. Uh, gonna bring me to the. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um. Sent you issue five. Oh, you, did you? Hang on. I'll find it. Uh, not advertised. Oh, okay. Um, so. Let's go on Faux Hammer. When in doubt, check out Faux Hammer. Right, go, 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 go. Yeah, that was the premium Daddy, kits. I can't find it. Well, that was silly, wasn't it? Oh, it was a storm cast. Okay. Um, so it was a. What was it called? A pre pre tour hero. It was one with the cloak and the big two handed axe. Hang on a second. Kid's got himself stuck. Come on. There we go, I'm back again. Right. Oh, my hearing. There we go. Uh, I, for one, like Roman numerals. Really? Well, because it takes two to tango, and I'm happy being a single Pringle. <laughs> All right. So, um... Each to their own, isn't it? Kids are very stressful, crazy little people. 
uh, with own wants and needs, you know, severely dependent on you. Drive you up the wall. But at the same time, they can make you laugh like no one else does. Um, can make you feel joy, compassion. All the human emotions are never quite mastered before. There's, there is something satisfying about, um, you know, you, you see them, they just figure something out. You just see the cogs turn and then something clicks into place. And like, yeah, it's quite a weird, a weird thing to describe. But you get like a, an immense sense of pride. Ain't evolution just a weird thing, hey? There you go. Brand dog, how's it going? Are you allowed to send them off so as chimney sweeps any more sport? They are. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> Can't just send them off to work in the farm, on the fields. Uh, it's basically me, but without adult consequences and responsibilities. Yeah, pretty much. I think um, so that in these days. Uh, people hold on to their younger selves a lot longer uh, than was once allowed. And, you know, that's, that's sort of just uh, the way things are at the moment. We're not in a uh, in immediate danger or dire sh straits at the moment. We have immense comfort, medical marvels. You're not fighting for uh, survival every day against, you know, bigger, nastier creatures. Not stuck in constant warfare or being raided right now. Even though it could feel like a real crappy, depressing, manic time. We're still in the best part of uh, human history at the moment. In terms of technology, welfare, and financial security. Now, I'm not saying that everyone is feeling it. Far from it. But in the bigger picture, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, <clears throat> especially in the West, It wasn't that long ago that you still had rampant poverty, shorter lifespans. Um, all that. Let's not forget the two world wars as well. That do do much for the average lifespan, did it? Uh, if I don't hang on to my younger self, I'll release bio mortality. Fair enough. Hydrate. I haven't got a drink to hydrate with. 
You know what? I made a drink and I didn't bring it in. Jeez. Got distracted. Typical. Um. So to be fair, the concept of teenagers are still kids. Was it a thing before the 50s? Yeah, I mean... Things were different. Very much. So the uh, Nathan Fillion personally told me to not be stuck in the past and get to making new memories. Yeah, that, I mean, that's... Uh... Good advice. Let's invade our gear. Let's not. Um, but if we do, I get dibs on the meatballs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of pictures, you having a beverage? Then you have paint in front of you. I'm not drinking paint. That's not thirst quenching at all. Uh, not long ago, it was today, mate. There are thousands living in terrible poverty in this country right now. Uh. Like I said, it's uh, it's not good for a lot of people at the moment. That's for sure. Um, I know I've I've been in the in the worst of it. And you think, how can he be in the worst of it? He got Warhammer miniatures. He's loaded. Um, but it was a long time when I didn't buy anything new because I couldn't afford it. We just barely afford a roof over our heads and food in our bellies. Um, and then paying the bills was, oh, that was crazy. So yeah, you got to do side hustle after side hustle just to top up your income. Gone are the days. There was a brief time when when things were well balanced, you know, like you you could have a one parent well not no, like you could have one of the parents in the home staying at home looking after the house and home and the kids and you could, and the other one go to work. And you could still afford a mortgage or you know, to pay the rent, all the bills, groceries, whatever. Um, it was very short-lived, but there was a nice period of time when that was a, poss a possibility. And then everyone got tricked into making both parents work. And then all of a sudden, it was like, oh, we can up the prices of everything because now there's everyone working. And all of a sudden, no one can work, afford anything because the greed has continued to go on. And every excuse under the sun is used. Oh, there's a war going off in a country that's far away from where our actual supplies come from. There's, uh, you know, there was a gust of wind on the other side of the, the planet. <laughs> it's stupid. Oh, we got to bail out the people who are gambling with our money. Because otherwise we don't have money. But we're going to use your money to bail them out so they can give you your money. What? <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a weird time, but I don't know. Some things are getting worse. Some things are getting better. But 
we're still moving in that general direction of progression. It's just um, whether or not you agree on which parts of the progression is actually needed and which parts desperately are needed, you know? Um... You might have meant all the brown coats should like, I don't know, watch the expanse and read from the Firefly. I don't know. Uh, Kev, you can claim the first objective, the IKEA car park. Nope. Um, it's it's uh, the food quarter for those people. The, the lingonberry jam. Those people were called boomers. Has it been like it since I grew up? We always had to both work. Yeah. Because uh, everyone got tricked into <coughs> making everyone work. It was great for the whole five minutes. And then it was like, oh, actually, you're now going to be worse off because of all the extra expenses that come with two people working, like the childcare and all that sort of stuff. Uh, not gonna lie, if it was one of my guests of gusts of wind, you'd be right. Yeah, that's true. Uh, parents staying at home, Kev. Just say the mum, Kev. Don't be shy, it's the mum. Well, yeah, it was the mum. It was the mum that stayed at home. The husband went to work. Um, or served. You know, it was that sort of thing. Yeah. It's kept their mum in the household. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Uh, should we get this stuff glued together? I think so. Ah. Right. I want these finished and built. Alright, put a little bit here. A little bit there. There's your butt. There's your butt. Can I put you together without your butt? Hang on. This dude's got no butt. Bruh. Did it get moved over? Let's see. You got a butt? You got a butt. You've got a butt. This is butt attack. Do 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 do. Oh, and I've got to find the right button now. Uh, let's see. Yes, that is the right button. Okay. Because there's another spare on the other sprue, that's why. I have to double check. Mm. Right. That. Got to be quick because that glue is, is cooking right now. It's curing with the plastic because it's poly cement. Reacts with plastic. So, can uh, while it's still curing, Bosch. There we go. Rubbish. No. <laughs> shocking. That was a shocking display there. Yeah, 
if I was his manager, I'd be absolutely, absolutely appalled. Oh, that's a big blob right there. Scoot it up and in. Mm. Over there. Way over there. Oh, has anyone watched the um, X Men '97 series? New episode every week, and I binged the first three episodes. So I was like, "Oh, this is actually all right." <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. The nostalgia. Gosh. But I like the fact that it has that storyline progression, you know. Um, but they, they don't act like nothing happened before. You know, they, they referenced the events from the previous series. Series? Series? Past series? Yeah, it works. Uh... <laughs> Are you making Terminators? I am making Terminators. Uh, stay at home, wench. He be the glue to hold the fort. <laughs> nice. He doesn't put one single slice of ham in. No, I put at least three. Um, speaking of a butter attack, a butter sausage. Get out of here. Uh, not got Disney. Magneto is jacked. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Jacked. But um it's it's sort of his it's his redemption arc, isn't it? So uh... I I only got halfway through that storyline myself. So um can't say how long it lasts and and all that, but I do think Magneto gives a good go at it, though. In spite of uh, temptations. Right, I'm not gonna have this. Uh, uh, that. It'll have to be like that, okay. <sighs> Until Savior comes back from Shirt Empire. Let's see. Well, spoilers. Is it one of those He-Man, Scott Pilgrim, bait and switch things? Um, what now?
should they have before the bloody arm? Rookie mistake, Kev. Rookie mistake. Spoilers for a 25 year old comic. Yeah. <laughs> well, because they, you know, they finally got round to uh, doing the animated series for it. So, folks might uh, not know about the. The comic series that we're talking about, and therefore will not know about the unfolding events yet to come. Be interesting to see if they carry it on or if they're just gonna finish this story arc essentially. Right, I'm gonna leave the shoulder pads off for now. I'm going to be painting the helmets separately just to make life easier. But the rest of the miniature itself isn't going to be too difficult to complete painting wise because it's just silver with a bit of black and or yellow trim. Not trim, but details. Uh, There we go. Uh, will the heads fit in after? What do you mean, fit in after? Like, it just slides in right there. It doesn't matter if you put this in before or after because. That's one piece. The hood is one piece, so either way, you you, you have to put it in. You have to put it in the way you put it in, regardless. Uh, if the book or comic, the film or TV is based on is over a year old, you get a house virus. <laughs> oh, you haven't. I thought you had yourself some. Don't tell me you got me some before you got yourself some. That's bang out of order, dude. Bang out of order. Wait till you find out Three Body Problem is a book I read a decade ago. Spoilers. Uh, I think almost, well, it's got to be like at least 9 out of 10 shows right now are adaptations of books, right? I don't think it, it shocks anyone anymore. That's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's, uh, it's just a, a new medium in which that story gets told. Yo! Great eye studio, how you doing? Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Hope you're well, let us know what you're up to. I 
did get the stance right on this one. Slight forward stance. Nice. Bosh. Slung low. Like a boss. Uh, do do in the box. I bought the DA box so I could send you a squad from it. Oh, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Oh, I've done it again. I've done it again. Don't do it. Don't do it. So close. Uh, it's really good, by the way. Seven out of five, easy. Really? What, the book or, or the... Uh, the adaptation? Get back on there. There we go. There we go. Under slong. I'm like that, or I'm like that, like, yeah, ah, like that. Uh, I better not spoil the end of Mahabharat as a 5,000 year old book. Jeez. Actually, I'll put the arm down so he can be steadfast as he's blasting enemies to bits. Uh, both the Netflix shows, great adaptation. Ah, cool. It's just triggering the Minecraft players in the in the chat. Lloyd it in there. Well, that sets. Get the shin guards on. That light keeps flickering. Very off putting. Before I forget. There 
go. Haha. -ha. So, this Friday is going to be the KFC results show. We're also going to have um, a community corner, as always. Don't forget, you've got until one minute to midnight tomorrow night to submit your entry. All the T's and C's on the Discord. Check out March 2024 under Season 3 KFC. And uh, yeah, good luck to everyone who's entering. Need a bit more. Yeah. Okay. Well, what are we going to do for April's KFC? That's going to be a tough one. Something April Fool's related, like a jester. Hmm. I was sort of thinking about a broader appeal, so it's it's got to be accessible to as many of the viewers as possible. We've already done March from a crag. So I can't do Space Marines again. Kjellas Tedson, how are you doing? How many colors do you have? How many colors do I have? Uh, a bit easier to say how many colors I don't have. This isn't all of them, by the way. This is just the ones on the table. Because I was painting like three different projects. So... more up there on the shelf uh, but thanks for noticing uh, Harlequins maybe cord clothing 
could do Helen Griffin as a just a get out. Absolute wind up merchants, the lot of you. You do not second it. You're not even going to partake. Hmm. this going to go? Ah, do 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 do. Right. I'll be quite dynamically posed. Slightly raised. All the way up is just weird. Slightly raised, I think will fit. Okay. All right. Okay. Does stand. Huzzah. Stand on your own feet, soldier. Okay. Now, oh, bulls. That's supposed to be the squad leader one. You third it. Of course you would. You know what? I actually will make it easy, for, easy enough for everybody. Easy enough, not easy, but easy enough. So I will say for April's KFC, because what you guys want to do is so bloody narrow, it's not even funny. Um, we can do paint an alien. Could be 
be any franchise, any miniature range, any race, whatever. Let's paint an alien. Bosh. That should open up the competition to a lot more people. This is not good. Wow, to you two. Hope you're well. How's it going in sunny Texas? So a space marine then the alien to the tower. Oh my god. You know what I mean. Can it be an orc? Yes, it can be an orc because they are aliens. Wait, are you talking about fantasy aliens? Not fantasy aliens, uh fantasy orcs. Alien as in non-human. A non-human alien. Something that is born of different stuff from a different place other than terra firma. Earth. Or alien as in French. Jeez. I, I saw that coming. <laughs> He's the theme then. X. Jeez. Rain this morning and sunny this afternoon. Perfect. More specifically, can it be an orc in a vehicle? Sure. If you want it to be. Uh, <laughs> I know where you're going with this one. Um, it counts, yes. So, uh, you know the rules. Post a picture of it before paint touches it. It can be primed. It can be on the sprue. And then you get to paint pit there. Get to post up to three pictures of the completed thing. Uh, non human aliens with a dinghy. Fuck off, Bill. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> so stupid. And yet I'm giggling like a fucking idiot. Um, as I was saying, though. Forgot what I was saying. Yeah, you, you still got until a minute to midnight tomorrow night to get this bumps done. So you still got plenty of time to paint up a an ultramarine or a, a successor chapter to the ultramarines. Um or anything blue. Just paint something blue. It was a I opened it up quite a lot, so. Oh, these are gonna look so good. So good, so good. Caleb, how you doing? What are we painting today? Not painting at the moment. Um, just putting some terminators together actually uh, they were very generously donated to the channel by under hive hero These are pretty cool multi-part kits. Too many options, if you ask me. Bosh. All right, you're on your base. 
let's glue you to your base. Let's glue you to the base. you to the base. And glue you to the base. And of course, I am using super glue, so I can snap them off if I need to. Let's do the bases. Ha! Look at that, lovely. Um, and then I'll just pop their heads onto sticks, so I can paint them separately. It's just so much easier to paint them like that and glue them in. Uh, I do luckily still have an unpainted pick. Nice. Um, brother, listen to me. This is important. If you are offered Kool-Aid by the Blood Angels, don't drink it. It's not Kool-Aid. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't accept anything from them because one moment you're sipping from a, a large golden chalice and the next minute you think everyone is Horace. Um, so yeah, no thank you, not for me. No such thing as too many options. Not for orcs, definitely not. No. Uh, which chapter will these battle brothers belong to? They will be of the Silver Templars. As you see, we have got a custom 3D printed shoulder pad with the emblem embossed on it. Uh, rescaled from the uh, the regular Terminators because these originally the file wasn't sized for these. Um, so they just need a little reshape, resize, not reshape. Um, but yeah, fits snug as a glove now. And uh, yeah, they're gonna be badass. What are the Silver Templars? They are a successor chapter from the Ultramarines. And um, they were actually created for, uh, what was it, the Imperium magazine? No, not the Imperium magazine. The um, Conquest magazine, Warhammer 40K Conquest magazine. Um, there were a brand new Primaris only chapter created for that magazine and um, yeah they look cool yeah, here's unpainted yeah see Ooh. Uh, here's a fun conversion that I made for it Ooh, yeah, and of course, the Captain and Gravis armor with a chunky sword and twin linked flame storm gauntlets. Because why not? Yeah, he only counts as having one flame storm gauntlet for for rules purposes, but. He looks badass, so you know, and he's got like a an ebony blade full of lightning. Says my lightning, my god. So there you go. Uh, of course, you know, because because it's more recognisable for you. Here's an ultramarine with uh, hand painted insignia. Nice little conversion there with some Stormcast bits. And uh, he is a, a Tyrannic War veteran. That's why he's got the head of a Gene Stealer on his shoulder guard. Pew, pew, pew. That was a funny one. That one. There you go. Um... Horace the Worm Master, really. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Codderman, Aiden. Hope you're well. Might need to get some painting tips off me. Well, I mean, I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 30 pm. 
at uh, 11 p.m. British Standard Time, GMT. Uh, um, but I do have videos on YouTube. They, they look so dated already. They're not even that old. They're only a few years old. But yeah, if you want to get some tips and tricks on there on like building tricky things and, and uh, just the basics of painting and that, got them all in there already. But I'm spitting out tips here all the time. So if you ever need any help, just let me know. When I start painting... I'm gonna do Necrons and I'm gonna choose one and make it look like a Terminator from the Terminator movie. Nice! I did that years ago actually. Um of you know like when when the, the legs have been ripped off and it's crawling like that. I actually have because it was like a unit filler. So it counts as two Necrons because you got one with the legs <laughs> and the gun at the base. And then you got the other half. With the crawling bit and like some paper clips coming out of the spine bit to look like wiring. Um, is Carl the man? Cow before me, quake of fear by the sound of my name. Cow upon the very moment why catches thee and accept fate. Do music begin. Very nice. <laughs> Hello, one, two, three, four. <laughs> How dare you steal my idea years before I thought of it. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I was like 16 or 17 when I did it. So like 20 years ago. Sorry. <laughs> ah. What are you going to do? Um, I could probably find it for you. Nah, actually I can't because that would require a lot of digging around. But here, look, here's a Necron. Woo! Or if you fancy some whimsy, um, this flayed one. A spoon fingers instead of blades. See? Little spoons so you can spoon you to death. Um, this one is causing all sorts of havoc wearing crocs and socks. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Ah, this camera. Oh, they, as they say. <clears throat> oh, oh, bugger. As we Brits say, there we go. Like, take autofocus off. Let's zoom in. Does autofocus come off or not? I don't know. But look at that. Crocs and socks. How disgusting is that, eh? Well, oh, here is my personal favourite. Okay. <laughs> He's wearing a cap. And uh, it's not... Oh, no, it went... Ah, I didn't save it. Hang on. Configure video. There it is. It's over there. Right. There we go. There you go. He's wearing a cap. And uh, instead of MAGA, it says MIGA. So make Imperium great again. <laughs> Just so you can blend in. <laughs> These are good fun. I got two left. I never I never got round to finishing. But yeah, like, now that you can see it properly. There's your, your Crocs and socks. Ugh. Terrible, right? What a crime. There you go. So, never feel like you can't have fun with uh, with your Warhammer stuff because, you know. If you're not having fun with it, what's the point? You know what I mean? Go 
I'll get you a cool boss fight intro going. Definitely. As they say, art imitates art. Exactly. It's like it's doing the thriller dance. It, it does a bit, doesn't it? Crux with socks. It's amazing and hurting me at the same time. Yeah, that was... Uh, about a year and a half ago now. No? Two years ago, maybe? Did that? Um, it was... It was just a joke that was going on in, in the chat and then I ended up sculpting it anyway. Um, I'm going out in a sec. I'll leave a PC on and see you. Watch time. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, unfortunately, we're about to sign off. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, but I appreciate you coming here. Um, and, you know, feel free to re-watch the beginning of the show. We discussed a lot about the uh, soon soon to be coming out, but not yet, Combat Patrol magazine. We, we know it's going to be summertime when it comes out. They, they always are. So, you know, yeah. just think about Dark Angel with Crocs on. Ugh. Definitely heretic. Um, but anyways, uh, as we are streaming to both youtube and twitch at the moment i'm going to sign off on youtube first because on twitch we get to raid people in so you know get to bring everyone over to someone else's channel while they're live so um for now thank you so much i hope you uh enjoyed the show and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button that like button it's free to do so and i appreciate it leave a comment as well and uh if you want to join our discord or uh you know use one of the affiliate links i appreciate that can't wait to see you in the discord and uh hope you have a good one and of course thank you to these beautiful people who are supporting membership on thank you cat i appreciate that thank you so much on youtube they got the membership and on buy me a coffee they got the membership there as well so um yeah there are plenty of ways to support the channel but just watching, liking, subscribing, it's more than enough. So uh, I appreciate you. Big loves and uh, hope to see you soon. Peace.